Welcome to the 2020 Westby Area School Veterans Day program. My name is Tom Sherritt. I'm an Army veteran. I'm a member of the VFW in Westby and the American Legion in Coon Valley. This is a very special day. You're going to hear more about that later, why it is considered so special. It's a day to recognize those people, men and women, who have served their country, and especially those who have fallen in the service of their country. There will be special music today. There will be some special words. There will be a firing squad, and lots of things will be explained. This is really a wonderful opportunity to take time to think about those who have served. If you have a grandfather, an aunt and uncle, a mother or father, a brother, sister, who have served or are serving, be sure to give them a call today and say thank you, because they have given us the freedom that we have in our country. Thank you and enjoy the program. And I was born in a home, and there wasn't any hospital in those days, so I was born in a home. And it was at September 12, 1926. Did you attend or graduate from Westby High School? Yes, I did. What branch of service did you enlist in, and why? I enlisted in the Navy because I felt in my own thinking that I would in be, I would like it better than being out in the field. What year and month did you enlist? Well, it would be, it would be 1944 and then it would be in July. Tell us a little bit about your training. Uh, tra Great Lakes training was a standard unit that they used for everybody. We, of course, we Learn first, we learn a lot of things. We were getting along with people, getting along, and uh, we didn't have any big shifts, but we did go out on the Great Lakes and came. What did you do when you completed your training at Great Lakes? When I... When you completed your training at Great Lakes. Oh, then we took a train and we went to the coast. And then, then we went on a... a training ship and then we went to South America and we were there we worked in South America a long time I think about three days and we were on the way back and then we came to Boston and the Bremerton was waiting for us in Boston so then we transferred to the Bremerton which became our ship that we were when we were traveled through the service in other ways and 
What type of ship was the Bremerton? It's a heavy cruiser. Now, the, the difference is a little... Uh, we had, we had uh, planes. The, the light cruiser doesn't have planes. What were your duties on board the Bremerton? I was in the repair. I was uh, the repair person. It helped me because I uh, got a little reputation from it, so they gave me the people to... I, I was in charge of the department. So uh, that kind of made me feel like a big shot, you know. And, and so then I, so I, well, I was, I was very happy. Were you ever bored or scared? I, I didn't have time to be bored. <laughs> when were you discharged? But when were you discharged? Uh, well, I suppose I think it was. I was in the service two years and one month. Orrin, after you became a civilian again, did you ever have a chance to use some of the leadership skills that you learned in the Navy in a civilian job? You just answered it a while ago. When I was in charge of, uh, when, I, when I was in charge of transportation, I was put in charge of all the transportation for the Westby School District. But it was a lot of work. I worked 10 hours a day, and, I, and then uh, they had to help move Goldsvig. I, I don't know if you remember, but he was the administrator, and he came to me, and I knew him. He was a, he was a he's kind of person by himself. And he came to me, I just said, I he said, I just had a letter from the state. We have to start a class in auto mechanics. Will you take that? And I said, oh, I'm working 10 hours a day now. Yeah, but he said, for well, a little while? Oh, well, I suppose. 17 years later, what? <laughs> Oren, my wife and I have known you and your wife for over 20 years. Yes, I suppose it is. Yes. And I've always admired you and your talent and your friendliness. You're one of the friendliest people I've ever met. So I want to wish you well and thank you very much for your service during World War II and for coming to talk to our students today. Thank you for having me. Do you have any special advice that you would give to high school students today? Uh, be thankful. Be thankful. I know the things with this 19 is creating all kinds of problems and I'm scared me to death. But every student, for God's sakes, be thankful that you can get that education, not just in Westie, but any place in the United States. Veterans Day. I'm Mark Anderson and I worked at the Westbury School District from 1983 to 2012. I taught fifth grade at the Westby Middle School prior to me becoming the principal at Westby Elementary and Coon Valley Elementary Schools. I still am currently coaching football at the high school. Veterans Day has always had a great significance for the students in the Westby School District. Our school and community has always had a great respect for 
men and women serving in the military. Some of my fondest memories of Veterans Days in the past were when the Legionnaires from the Coon Valley and Westby Legion posts would come and hand out flags to every student in both buildings. They would take the time and answer questions about being in the service, fighting wars, and defending our country, and taking the time to answer all questions that they might come up with. To all veterans and current military personnel, thank you for your service. Happy Veterans Day. Hello. Veterans Day is an excellent occasion for schools and local communities to produce a variety of meaningful cooperative programs. Participation by our area veteran organizations and other patriotic groups have certainly enhanced many of the activities that we do during this very important ceremony. Why Veterans Day? We honor all those who have served the country in war and in our peace deceased or alive. Although it's largely intended to thank living veterans for their sacrifices, it was originally called Armistice Day commemorating the end of World War I. What makes Westby's Veterans Day commemoration really good? I think it starts with our students. They take pride in ownership and doing what's right for our veterans. As a choir director, I've always tried to choose a piece that is fitting for this occasion, as does the band. It's not only the musicians that take ownership, it's the whole student body who gives respect to those veterans that are seated right in front of them. There are times that you can hear a pin drop in that gymnasium as we have approximately six to 700 people in attendance. Lastly, I've never had a chance to know my uncle Raymond because he died when his plane went down in the Pacific during World War II. To do my part, I think this program is the least that I can do for him. And I've taken pride in the last 27 years being part of this Veterans Day program. Thank you to all veterans. Goodbye. Good morning. So why a Veterans Day celebration? Many of you might recognize me as Mrs. Hanold and from being around, working around the middle school in various different positions for over 20 years. But what you might not know about me is that I grew up in a military family. My dad was an Air Force officer and we traveled all over the United States and the world um, at various deployments. And so what does that mean? That means that we never stayed in one spot more than three to four years max. And so while it was a fantastic way to grow up, one thing that I really didn't get is a long-term community relationships with people. So I can't say, oh yeah, I remember her from kindergarten because those really didn't exist for me. So when I first attended my um, very first Veterans Day celebration here in Westby, I was deeply moved. I was deeply moved by the amount of effort and care that was given to put into the ceremony and it made me realize how important community is and um, that they recognized the importance of military families and what they sacrificed. So um, it made me realize that people matter, community matter, and you matter. So on behalf of my father, retired Lieutenant Colonel Robert J. Beck, and my husband, veteran Staff Sergeant Virgil Hanold, I wish to thank you and um, hope that you continue to provide a service to the community that you've done in the past. When I think of Veterans Day, the first person that comes to my mind is my uncle David Lewison. Some of you may have known him as a member of the Westby Legion. Others may have known him as a member of the Honor Guard. I knew him as a man who was very proud and honored to have served his country in the Korean conflict. He took this honor so seriously that he dedicated a great deal of time and energy to make sure that veterans of all branches were honored, be it the living during Veterans Day programs or those who have passed on Memorial Day or in a funeral honor guard. On this day, I ask you to take some time to honor a veteran. 
whether it's your neighbor, a relative, or a friend. Take the time to thank them for their service to our country so we are able to enjoy the freedoms that we have. I know that I will spend my Veterans Day honoring my uncle's memory and do the same. Good morning. I'm uh, here to talk to you just a bit about the Veterans Day celebration and why this ceremony is so important. We get a chance to listen to uh, people who have been there. We see the color guard. We see some of our own people there, people we know very well, like Rod Ofte, uh, Eric Mickelson, uh, Charlie Johnson. And uh, I think when I compare the military as a whole, five bodies I believe are included, I look at our two-party system. Now I may look like it, but I was not there when that was begun. But of late, the two-party system doesn't seem to be serving us as we would like. Lots of bickering, backbiting, etc. As you well know, it's hard not to be paying attention to uh, the people in control of our country at the present time. And uh, yeah, not, not everybody need be satisfied. The thing about the military and the veterans is that you never hear them <laughs> arguing complaining about the other branch or whatever. When there is need worldwide, our armed forces go as a team. And I would wish that the young people uh, listening or watching this particular uh, program take that into consideration. I went to many of these meetings as a uh, member of the high school staff uh, here in Westby and always dead quiet, attention, respect, and uh, I'm hoping that this little thing can uh, inspire in one or two people uh, that same type of behavior uh, when in a group do the best you can. Uh, I, I really don't know any other way to uh, express. Uh, but I do know you all need to mask. You need to wash up as often as you can and be conscious of social uh, separation. It's difficult. But we are tough enough and we are knowledgeable enough to know that this is going to go on and it is our duty, responsibility, whatever, uh, to observe these things. They've proven to lower the rate of infection and ah, that's why this program. Hi everybody, my name is Ruth Robinson. I taught ninth grade science and bio 2 at Westby High School from 1995 to 2002. I am at the Westby Area Veterans Memorial today, located on Highway 27 but going towards Cashton. I know you've gone past this many times. The names here have a direct connection to the Westby School District's annual Veterans Day program held each November. This memorial honors each and every veteran as every name here is someone who has served or is currently serving in our area. The school's program that we are attending today often includes rousing patriotic songs, but here we hear no such music. Instead, we might hear some whispered voices of those who have served. I'd like to share with you the name of one very special veteran, 
His name is David Allenson. He's my husband. He served in Vietnam from 1969 to 1970, and I'd like to have you see his name. There are two panels of Vietnam veterans etched in the granite. My husband's name is Rachel. Thanks, Dave, for recording the video today. Thanks for serving our country. And thank you, Wesley students, for honoring all of our veterans at the school assembly today. Hi, Westby schools and the communities of Westby, Coon Valley, and Chaseburg. My name is Monty Dunham. I was band director at Westby for 25 years. It was an honor to serve our communities in that role. Um, as we think about why Veterans Day is important and why we have such a big ceremony, it's just important to know what these people have done for us. Whether it be an active duty, current, or a person who has served, they're all worthy of our thanks. So I have one request for you today, or any day that it works for you. Find a veteran. Might be somebody that you know. Might be somebody that you don't know that is a veteran. Go up to them, introduce yourself, and then say thank you for your service. And then go one step further. Ask them if they have an extra minute to tell you a story about their time serving our country. I think you'll learn something, and I think you'll enjoy what they tell you, but more importantly, the best way to say thanks is to let them tell you a little bit about themselves and about what they did. Have a great day. Stay safe. I'm Steve Michael, Superintendent for the Westby Area School District. Staff and students, thank you for making time today to honor, recognize, and celebrate our veterans. To all military personnel in our community, past and present, I wish to say thank you for your service. To Clay and Amber and anyone else who's considering enlisting in the military, we wish you all the best. And finally, I'd ask everyone today to find a moment to reflect and think about our veterans who are no longer with us. I'd ask that you think about them and I'd ask that you think about their families. Thank you again for viewing today.